Welcome to Future Grandmasters. It is day 53 in the journey to World Chess Champion. Today, I'd like to discuss about the ecosystem of chess. As you might have seen, I'm currently banned from playing all tournaments in St. Louis. They said that they're not going to be extending any invitations to me. It means that I'm unable to compete in uh, invitational events like the American Cup. I think it's quite interesting to look at the you know, economic side of chess and to look at how certain tournaments which invest so much money into it really don't really get much uh, i'm playing this match against vidit we're going to be playing in a sports stadium you can go to universalchesstour.com check it out this match it's thirty thousand dollars to the winner twenty thousand dollars will be a part of an open event right so it's going to be bringing in people who are going to participate in the open pay an entry fee pay an hotel there's you know value I would, I would think that a lot of people are going to watch the match live. A lot of people will make recaps about the games of the matches. But when it comes to the American Cup, I found it quite disheartening that, that no one seemed to be watching this event. Uh, if you look at the prize money, you'll realize that Levon Aronin won $90,000. And I think that's in addition to a $15,000 bonus for winning everything. So it's a total so a four hundred thousand dollars in prize money so they put up four hundred thousand dollars of prize money and when you look at the youtube channel and you look at like who's watching it i think it'd be even worse on twitch there's like maybe one to two thousand people watching this amazing event obviously st louis chess club which just does amazing things for chess but there's clearly a disconnect in in people who follow chess and who people who, who like chess who aren't the traditional you know hardcore chess player and how tournament organizers are presenting tournaments. Because in reality, the American Cup, the format is amazing. It's a knockout format. You know, we need more knockout formats. There's, you play one classical game and then one rabbit game. It's a great format. But the question is, why, 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 you know, are there 20,000 people watching Botez playing in some, let's say, lower level game, you know, not to be rude, but it's, it's like an amateur level game. And then you have the pinnacle of chess competition with $400,000 online and 2,000 people are watching. So it begs the question about how like organizers should evolve because I, it personally bothers me and I think that it must bother the organizers that such an event with, that invests so much time into it doesn't get the attention it deserves. That's why I've decided while well, going to these tournaments that I'm going to have you know sort of uh, the organizers to put a camera at my board Obviously, some streamers, you know, like they set up a camera themselves, they look it up to your computer, like, I'm not going to be doing that during a game. I'm there to play chess. I'm there to focus. I'm not, like, the, 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 in terms of the streaming and the, that goes, goes into it, you know, that's like secondary for me. But I start to realize, like, let's say that you have a tournament, right? Let's say I play in the Sharjah Masters, okay? Let me, maybe, let's say their budget is 100 to 200 grand, right? So they, I, I remember you would see Sharjah Masters, all the best players, a lot of those sort of the world are playing. And you go to the live commentary, it's like 50 people are watching. But there's this complete disconnect from this old sort of chess uh, world and organization. The reality is that you have such interesting events and interesting chess being played, but no one's watching. So when I watch the final of the American Cup, where they're fighting for like hundreds of thousands of dollars, and you see like two to 3,000 viewers, it's insane. And even, I, I don't even see anyone talking about it on social media. So if you guys are a potential sponsor, you want to you know support my own matches in my own way, of playing chess in a unique way you know i think that i should be playing chess with spectators you know I, I like so many times you play like for example the last US championship there's no spectators there's no this is like a spectator sport this is a, a game that should be enjoyed you know there should, we should be playing in a in in, in in big sort of cities in in, in theaters you know with, with with entire you know full theater of, of, of people on a stage playing chess. that's how it should be and i find it quite disappointing that that uh, a lot of the growth that, that that's come in chess, a lot of the growth that of this you know social media boom, right, is is not even helping or like supporting the players, right. So it's great for all these chess YouTubers. I, I think what they're doing is amazing, but all these chess players are not seeing like any improvement in their life, despite the financial growth of chess as a game. That's why, of course, this match against Vidit is, is is a great start. I think there should be more. I should I want to play more matches like that in the future. You know, instead of me going to some nine round open tournament that's super boring and like maybe 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 the live commentary of my games I, I would assume would be far bigger than whatever commentary they have so 
that's just some food for thought. I don't know if you guys like my little rants about, about the chess world. And my belief is that when you have, uh, of course, a uh, Botez, unless people who are showing chess, showing that like it doesn't matter how good you are at chess, you can still attract an amazing audience if it's presented the right way. So that's why I think that like if I were to play, of course I have to play all these stupid tournaments to get my rating up. But at some point, I'd like to completely revamp like the format. First of all, I think that if I were to play chess in the future, I want to play chess uh, with, with a lot of spectators. I think that if you are in a major city like New York, you can get hundreds of people to come watch a chess tournament. Okay, already, there's that, like, you can get, you know, one to 2,000 people to play the World Open. Why can't you sell out a theater in New York? Just like you sell out, you know, uh, going to, to, to Broadway shows. I also think that we need to completely re reform the format. So I, I'm not against classical, but I believe that we should look, be looking at, at, at chess as, as one game and trying to, to find the truly best chess player. And I think, the, you know, since, you know, all these different time controls, you can say that Blitz is, different, is not chess or a different game. I think that you should be combining all the formats into one and the different time formats to truly find who the best player is. I think that my best chance at the World Championship is in the Rapid and Blitz, which happens every year. Of course, I'm very grateful that the World Rapid and Blitz Championship happens every single year and I can play and I can't be. So every single year, I have absolutely no excuse not to be playing my best chess in the world because there's an open event to all players participate in and the winner becomes the World Champion. So, of course, the classical World Champion is one thing. Of course, getting invitations and making money is another thing. But in terms of like to be the World Champion, there, there's no excuse, right? Uh, but anyways, uh, if, if you guys are a potential sponsor who wants to, you know, bankroll all my future future tournaments, please send me an email. But uh, anyways, that, that, that's that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoy this thought. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments and uh, uh, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. And uh, this was day 53 and I hope all the future Grandmasters keep working hard.